back baldiana style new i'm packing the ass guess what he'll still be a laugh right now if you niggas guess what get my shorty stingers and guns i tell him slap for nothing everybody with this gang gang shit so what is up youtube gang you know what i'm saying girl we got the broad cap on y'all already know what's about to happen when the broad cap's on new wig new wig new wig let's get into it y'all this is a beautiful gray unit from premier hair it is a 12 inch bob hold on it originally came straight but i decided to wash it before putting it on and it turned into this really pretty wave which influenced me to make this a wet look i think this hair would look so bomb as a wet look so that's what we're going to be doing with this bob today it is a 13 by 6 frontal like this the hairline is crazy on this like the hairline is really crazy the cranberry hair really always does it for me though the last install i did with cranberry was that really nice big body wave so of course they did not disappoint me with this gray bob we're gonna get straight into this install i want to sit down talk to you guys about it walk you through it and yeah let's slay this hair okay of course we gotta disinfect as always but as i was saying before i've paired with cranberry hair before and i really like the quality of their lace as i was plucking this gray one i realized like the knots seriously are invisible on this so i'm excited to see how it blends into my skin Right now, I'm obviously just disinfecting my forehead before we glue this bald cap down. As always, it's important to not only disinfect your forehead, but disinfect your hands, disinfect any tools you're using just to prevent the spread of germs and the spread of oil. Having any oil under the glue will definitely loosen up the glue. So just make sure you're being very careful and looking out for stuff like that. As I always do, I'm gonna cut this tab so I can pull it down over my edges so my edges are protected bold hold of course i've been using bold hold for the longest and it really be securing that lace down it really does <laughs> girl we are about to slay this cranberry is a human hair is a human hair company specializing in wigs and bundles my lady took me up last time, so I am not doubting that they're going to do the same this time. Y'all can, of course, use my description links as a guide to go and shop with them. Follow their Instagram, all that jazz. Let's blow dry this down until it's completely dry. Mm -hmm. Yup, yup, yup. We want this ear tab to be secured down all the way so it's protecting your edges right here or your sideburns, whatever you got. Just so the bold hold glue does not get on them because, girl, you're gonna have a hard time trying to get it off. A lot of people ask me what I use to remove my wigs. I use the C22 solvent. You spray this on and literally it dissolves the glue and gets it right off of your head. This is how I'm able to do new wigs every single day. <laughs> This is laid down nice and good. So I'm gonna go ahead and now apply some glue right here just to secure this cap down, making sure it doesn't move. I don't spray my caps because it really does damage on my edges. So I found this method helps me to grow out my edges while still doing protective wig styles, okay? But yes, y'all, I have not done a gray wig in so long. So I'm really excited to see how this is gonna look on me. And I've never done a bob with gray. So this is all gonna be real new for me. I'm excited to see how I can slay it. So yeah, just take your time when you're doing your installs. Be very neat. As you see, I don't have glue all over the place. I'm trying to stay real, real neat. Blow dry. And if your fingers start to get sticky during this whole process, just take that same paper towel or whatever you use with the alcohol on it and just rub that down. That's how you can get it off. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're getting to that laid point. Just gotta close this little gap up right here. And we're gonna be ready to apply our layer of bold hole. Okay, ladies, now that we got a nice and secure ball cap, let's go ahead. We about to do it. We about to do it. Yup, 
I suggest only doing like half of your head with the glue then spreading it because bold hold dries like super quick so if you put it all on the perimeter of your head it might be dried on some parts so just play it safe and only do one half at a time Let's move on to this side Cranberry, cranberry. Let me just give you a close up on this leg. Sis, like, find my knots because I can't. Like, that leg is translucent, baby. Ooh, this lace. This color looks bomb, too. I don't know what part I should go for. I think a side part would actually look good with this. Making sure. Do y'all see this? I love trying out new colors. So I was glad that Cranberry um, had a wide selection of colors. As I always say, I really like when um, brands can show their versatility, and Cranberry definitely can. So if you are looking for a specific color, y'all can go check them out to see if they can accommodate your needs. Let's melt that lace. how we're looking i think i am gonna go with the side part just because i think it'll look good with the wet look i know i look crazy right now but trust the process all right y'all we need to get into cutting this lace so i'm just gonna put this oh this look cute on the little apple for your sound like i look bomb <laughs> You're definitely gonna cut out some hair on your ear tab so don't be alarmed just don't cut out something that could be on a track like back here because you're just gonna run into problems so be careful this is so cute wait like <laughs> here's how it looks right now i'm gonna go ahead and cut out my lace just <clears throat> watch how i cut in a pattern like i'm gonna go swoop go in swoop go in swoop go in just to make the hairline look natural y'all that lace is invisible don't even front like you can't even front wow like this looks really good <laughs> wait maybe i changed my mind maybe i want to do a half up half down with this because that actually looked really cute <laughs> hold on y'all i think we're changing we're not doing the wet look no more i want to do a half up half down so i'm just gonna take some hair from about the end of my eyebrow to the end of my eyebrow honestly you just have to take your time and be neat with stuff like i think that's one of the biggest things in the wig game is just being neat this is not the finalized ponytail y'all i just need to get this out the way so i'm gonna just put it in a little bun real quick okay why did bun actually look mad good <laughs> i did want to bring some framing pieces into the equation just to frame like here lady i think we're gonna have to straighten this what do you think right to straighten it to make it look more put together it honestly feels so smooth super soft so i'm gonna go ahead and straighten this whole head of hair So I just straightened it. Here's how it's looking. I really like this color, this style. This looks really good. I'm gonna finish this by taking some Pump It Up spritz to hold everything in place. I'm telling you, use some of this. 
My hair is not moving. It's so cute. Okay, y'all. So that'll wrap it up for this install with cranberry hair. As y'all can see, this looks so cute. This is one of my favorite looks. It's very different. I don't usually do a half up, half down. So I was super excited that it turned out well. Thank you so much, cranberry hair. Again, y'all, definitely go shop with them. As you can see, they're the plug for cute hair. So yes, definitely a 10 out of 10 on my list. I will see y'all next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And comment new colors I should do for my next install. And I'll be sure to do that for y'all. See y'all next video. Bye.